Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Virgos. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at your next 72 hours. We're going to see what energy you guys are going to be experiencing and what may be coming your way. Um, so if you're new here, welcome. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button. You hit that notification bell. If you would like a personal consultation with me, make sure you check out the description box. My information for my website is always listed there. And let's get into it. Virgos next 72 hours. What is the energy they may be experiencing? Okay. So the overall energy you guys are going to be walking into, we have the five of wands, the energy you're currently in. We have the strength card, the challenge that may come up. We have the seven of cups, the advice from spirit. We have the tower and then the outcome of this time frame. We have the ace of cups. Virgos. What's coming their way during this 72 hour window so we have focus and then we have beauty so let's talk about this so the first card i want to discuss is the energy you guys are going to be coming into during this time frame so i do have the five of wands so um, this may be confliction not really knowing which way to turn in terms of a person specifically um for some of you also there could just be multiple people who may be trying to start issues with you so what i will say is preserve your energy um and make sure that you're not having outside people become distractions almost in terms of what you you know you should be doing okay um i also get this energy as well with the five of wands this could be like creative confusion so you could be having one moment where you feel like okay i want to go this direction i want to do this i want to do that and then the next second you may be feeling conflicted um energetically you guys could also just be having like some days where you just feel so good and then other days where you feel like again just conflicted so all of this around you all of this is energy that you can control you don't have to let this consume you Again, this is energy. This is not meaning that this is stuff that you have to feed into literally. This is just energy. So you make or break what, or not even make or break, you pick and choose what you choose to respond to. It's out, um, and, uh, what we're referring to, I can't talk. When we're referring to outside problems, you control what you entertain. But looking further into this, the current energy you may be in, I do have the strength card. So this is you trying to keep it together. This is you guys trying to stay determined, focused. Um, some of you guys may be a little defensive. You may be trying to put like a wall up to protect yourself. Um, energetically, you could just be feeling like that's the best way to move. And very much so that may be the case that may be the best way to move as far as not letting people get close to you and take advantage of you but it's also going to keep really good people out as well um also with the strength card you guys could have a leo in particular that could be affecting your energy as well and that's for some of you and some of you guys also could be trying to work on your anger management skills as well that's another thing that came through but the challenge that may come up during this window of time, I have the seven of cups. So this is confusion. Um, this is emotionally being all over the place. One second feeling one way, next second feeling another. Um, this could be somebody who you're interested in romantically having options. And then now it's confusing for you because now it's like you don't know where you fit in. For some of you, you could have options and that's confusing you. Again, some of you guys may be confused as to what opportunities are actual opportunities and what aren't. It's like a lot of like needing to sort out emotions and what's real and what's not almost. So that may be more of the focus during this time frame. I'm getting like very Neptunian energy with that card too. Now, when it comes to the message from spirit, I do have the tower. So 
This is making sure that you're looking at your foundation and what's not working, what's not going to, you know, work best for you moving forward with the tower. This could be like a shaky relationship or um, shaky relationships around you, whether that's friends, family, whoever. The tower is also just instability internally and how that may be affecting our outer world. So this is things that you guys may need to look at during this time frame. Now, what I see for the outcome, I have the Ace of Cups, which is very positive. So this is new opportunities presenting itself to you. Um, this is also you guys being more in touch with self-love, regardless of what's going on with other people and what they got going on. Your sense of self-love is important because it will save you from being in a lot of bad situations. This could also be somebody professing their sense of love for you. Now, I want to talk about these cards that I pulled as well. This is from my Queen of the Moon Oracle. And the first card is Focus. And let me show you guys the card. So this is speaking to you being able to focus the mind and quiet the mind at the same time. <laughs> Um, this is also making sure you guys are focusing on tasks that you guys need to take care of and not losing sight or like procrastinating almost. There's also a need for you to work on having a scatter brain situation going on. Um, also during this time frame, try to refrain from listening to people gossiping or just negative people. And don't just waste your energy on things you can't change or again like I said getting distracted and being all over the place and then the next card beauty this is speaking to personal beauty this is speaking to being able to for one recognize your own inner beauty and how it makes you outwardly beautiful and for some of you also just taking time to really get dressed in the morning and have fun some of you the best way to feel better in the mornings is to you know do a little extra something something in the morning to get yourself going whether that's putting on a red lipstick or you know putting on your favorite underwear as a guy whatever it may be um what else some of you guys also may be needing to declutter your surroundings as well and put more beautiful things around you to get yourself more self-inspired if that makes sense but this is what I see. I hope that you're able to take something from this reading. I'm going to stop here. If you did, thumbs the video up. Make sure you're subscribed. If you want a personal consultation so we can help you get on the right track, check out the description box for that information. And I will see you in the next one.